Late today, Alberta's premier said the time has come to live with COVID. Jason Kenney is beginning to lift public health restrictions, what he calls a path back to normal, and he is ending the proof of vaccine requirement as of midnight tonight. The threat of COVID-19 uh, to public health is uh, no, no longer outweighs the hugely damaging impact of health restrictions on our society, on people's mental health, on their emotional well-being, on uh, uh, our broader social health. So now is the time to begin learning to live with COVID. There remain more than 1,500 people with COVID in hospital in Alberta. Our Heather Yorks West is in Coots, Alberta, where protesters resumed a border blockade. Heather, what are they telling you tonight? Well, they've been listening to uh, the developments from the Premier very closely. We know that, as you mentioned, as of midnight tonight, the uh, proof of vaccine program will end next week. Ch uh, school children will no longer have to wear masks to school. From there, on March 1st, the indoor mask mandate will also be lifted. This is something that protesters have been asking for, but will it be enough for them to end their, their protest that is now into its second week? Likely not. The protesters I've spoken with say they also want to see an end to federal vaccine mandates, uh, even a change in government. I'm sick of having my kids wear their masks in school. I don't want my daughter breathing carbon monoxide in and out all day. Hopefully the mandates get dropped and then uh, it'd be nice if Trudeau took a flying hike. <laughs> he could, he could get, get lost. I think you meant carbon dioxide. Um, Heather, authorities say the blockade is illegal. How are the RCMP likely to respond? Well, RCMP uh, told us today that they have uh, two major objectives here. One is to maintain the peace. The other is to ensure that border access uh, remains open as well as access to the local community. Now, at this hour, I can tell you uh, all, most of this afternoon that is happening. Uh, traffic is getting through the border. Uh, the mayor of Coots says that he does not want to see um, the RCMP take a heavy handed approach to protesters, adding that many of these protesters are actually members of the community. I just mentioned that the people that are protesting are your neighbor from down the road. And so it's not the kind of guys that are trying to wreck stuff and uh, create noise and, and pollution and doing all the stuff that you heard of other places. And so it requires a different treatment from the RCMP. Still, RCMP say there have been illegal activity at this protest over the past week. They have investigations open and they say charges will be laid. The Alberta government is saying that this is an illegal protest, an illegal blockade. It needs to end. Uh, whether that will happen now that the Alberta Premier has uh, outlined a plan to lift restrictions provincially, that is something that we will have to wait and see. Donna? Well, all right, we will. Heather Yorks, Weston Coots, Alberta. Thank you.